If you've ever used Snapchat, you've probably had a moment where a girl adds you on Snap and says, hey, and you're like, wow, the hoes love me. But all of a sudden you quickly come to learn that it is actually a bot who is trying to send you a link that is a virus. It is an epidemic on Snap. I saw a tweet about it and all the replies were saying they have them too. And guess what? Me, I also have some. So surely nobody in the world would be dumb enough to click on those links, right? I'm dumb enough. So today I thought it would be a fun little experiment is I entertain their nonsense. Usually I always block them right away, but I thought, you know, just for science, I've done this with Instagram and YouTube bots and it was an interesting time. So why not complete the trifecta and have a little action with the uh, Snapchat bots? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, luckily I already had four bots built up in my added from literally just like one week. So I didn't even have to wait for anything. So I added all four of them. And when I added them, I had two video messages right away. Like I didn't have to wait a second. They were already there. So I clicked on the messages. And the first one was this disturbing girl in a, a ski mask. And it says, hey, you just saw you on a quick ads, which means you're nearby. Oh, I'm sure. So I decided to add you neighbor. Screenshot the next picture, babe. Oh, I'm one step ahead of you. I'm screen recording everything. So the next one, I had to censor this with my face and part of the message because it was extraordinarily graphic. Um, and it says, since I am new here, can you show me around? Can you do that for me, babe? 21, can you do something for me? Um, I'll return the favor and sit on your face and do many other things to you that I can't say on YouTube. And so that was the first message. And I was like, okay, you know what? Fair enough. And we will be checking amyloke.com in a little bit. But then I decided to check my other one. And guess what? It was also amyloke.com. Apparently there's two Amy's. Just has to be a crazy coincidence. Um, and she says, hey, I saw your name on quick ads, which means we're close. Hmm, I feel like I've heard this before. I am bored and decided to add you. I hope you don't mind. Screenshot next picture. So it was two of the same things. It was literally the exact same scam. And uh, I guess there is only one thing to do and that's go to amyloke.com. All right, so as you'll see on my screen right here, I am on a private browsing mode cause I'm not that stupid. Uh, I feel like if I did this on just regular browsing, everything would get hacked and I would lose everything. So we're not gonna be doing that. Uh, we're gonna be, be a little smart here, do on, on uh, private browsing and we're just gonna go to amyloke.com. That's what it was, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, hi. Okay. Uh, 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 God damn. I'm going to have to censor so much here. My editor is getting paid overtime. Me. Um, so it's a uh, 75% off sale because it's her birthday, which by the way, she said 75% sale because it's my birthday two weeks ago. Uh, so she's got a really long birthday. I guess that's impressive. Um, so it says get exclusive access to my content and interact with me directly. Do you live in Philadelphia? No. So uh, as it turns out, I don't actually live close to her. Um, so see my OnlyFans. I'm curious if it's actually gonna take me to an OnlyFans or if it's gonna take me to a bot link. So there's only one way to find out. Oh, we actually are on OnlyFans. Oh, it's just an OnlyFans thing. Okay. You see, this is a lot different than um, when I did my Instagram bots and YouTube bots thing because they actually took me to like a malware website. But this is just taking me to an OnlyFans which I'm very surprised about. I was expecting something a lot more interesting because usually it's just like, it's not OnlyFans, it's actual bot links. But I'm curious if this is an actual person who knows um, she's being OnlyFans and used in snap bots because like, this looks pretty real. 150 posts, 28,000 likes, 28,000 from snap ads? Who are these people? I'm ending the screen recording here, but who are these people that are doing this? Is this all some sort of like collected pyramid scheme to promote random girls only fans? Cause I guarantee there's different ones that are linking to different only pan. Only, I said only pans, uh, only fans. How much is a subscription? Uh, $96 for three months, $240 for a year. For what? Mid butt, mid boobs. Who, who are these people? It says 28,000 likes, which means 28,000 people have paid to see something. This is unbelievable. 
Like, I, I was expecting just this random bot site, but this is actually interesting. It's some, it's an actual OnlyFans that appears to be making a good bit of money. What, what, th th this is annoying. This is not what I was hoping for because, like, you always think when you see these bots, nobody's actually going to fall for these. But clearly here, some people are falling for them. I, this is unbelievable. But, okay, I guess that answers the question, what happens when you click on snap bots? I'm sure there's uh, they have other bot methods that do different things, but that's the ones I've been getting. So uh, we all learned something today. It's an OnlyFans pyramid scheme, I guess. Uh, so that's interesting. And I hope you all enjoyed the process. Um, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. This is really ruining society, in my opinion, because when 13-year-olds first get Snapchat and they know nothing about the world, this is the first thing they're introduced to. And that is why we have so many simps and incels in this world. That's just my opinion, though. But, yeah, with that being said, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money